Hello, this is Steam Malone with Comps Effects. Hope you're doing well today and you're getting some good trades. In a previous video, I talked about how to make sense of a choppy market, especially when there's no conviction in the marketplace. There's no sense of direction. The market is just bouncing back and forth, up and down. I mentioned in the video that oftentimes the best thing to do is to go out and take a look from a bird's eye view. Go out to that four hour chart, go out to that one hour chart, and start looking for repeated price levels, repeated highs and repeated lows and get the average price point and you're going to look for the market to break out of its current situation and go to these previous levels. Why? Because price has the tendency to go back to where it's been before based upon a simple fact of human nature, fear and greed. We fear that price is going to go any further than it's gone before, then the greed factor comes in and like, well maybe it can push a little bit further than that. And what we had in the previous video was the euro dollar had chopped around up and down a real tight range and eventually got itself into what I refer to as a symmetrical triangle or a sideways wedge with lower highs and higher lows. From the four hour and one hour charts we noted that there were three levels above. We note there was a 3242 level, a 3265 level, and a 3280 level. I was actually looking for the market to potentially push back up to that 3280 and looking for a potential short on selling the rally since the overall trend in the euro, the big picture, had been to the downside. We also noted repeated lows down around 3210, 3190 level, and the 3160 level. So what I want to do today is to go bar by bar see what the market did and how it relates to what we set up. Again, the whole idea here is trying to make sense of a choppy market. If we lay out certain levels where price has been before, then we have some idea as to what the market's going to do. That's all this is. It's just a logical process. So let's see what the market did as we step through bar by bar moving forward in time. As we do, you can see that the market continued in a sideways pattern. Now I'd mentioned to folks that I'm looking for the market to break this 3210 level. If it breaks the 3210 level, then we're looking for that drop further down to around 3190. As we progress further, we get this up and down still, and then finally the market does break the 3210, and look what it does. It pins right down to 3190. Not a big move, about a 20 pip move, but still we noted that the move happened and look what the Traders Dynamic Index is doing here. The Traders Dynamic Index has been showing some downward move and possibly some continuation. See how the market baseline, the L-line starting to turn and the strong angle to the downside? Some expectancy to see the market continue to push lower. So as we progress, again another hit at 3190. Market's bouncing around, testing the 132 break. and now we're starting to break that 3190. We already note the previous level down below at 3160. Let's see if that gets hit. Market came fairly close to it and then market comes right about to it just within a few pips of hitting it there. At this point it's testing this previous low back here this 3160. Again, a repeated low point. I said look for the market to potentially hit the 3160. Now I had noted on a higher time frame that the euro dollar for a few days had been in a range between 133.20 and 130.20 with the halfway point being around 3170. So where we're at right now is that midpoint and we need to break through 3160 level to continue a downward move. So if we look at this and moving forward, you can see that the market starts breaking down lower and lower below that 3160. Again, the market's looking at dropping further down and eventually the market does. Market comes all the way down and I'll finish this out where we're at right now. You can note that the market's sitting right below the 3120 level. Now let me show you something. Now that we've broken this 3160 floor from this repeated low right here, question is, well, how much further down? Is there any way to determine this lower move down? Well, a couple of things you can do. You can go out to that higher time frame, like a four hour and one hour, and look for repeated lows, or you can do one simple trick that I do all the time in my active trade room, 
and then simply to take the Fibonacci retracement tool and run it in reverse from your last swing low to your last swing high. So if I grab it here, if we go from last swing low, run up to the last swing high, so basically previous low, previous high, what we're going to look for is for the market to go down to particular levels. And so the market ran down to the 127.2, we bounced off of that, went back up to test the 100, couldn't make it, fell back down, and then hit the 141.4, the second target level below the break of the 3160. And then eventually we get down to the third target level, which is the 161.8. This is the process of making sense of a choppy market. Now again, if a choppy market's not your thing, then don't trade it. But if you're trying to figure out what's going on, look for the market to have certain repeated highs and certain repeated lows. Mark those levels. Then take a look at the current situation the market's in. Look for certain chart pattern. A symmetrical triangle that we have up here 60% of the time it breaks down, okay? But even if it broke up, we already had levels laid out in the event that it went up. And we could have done the exact same thing with the Fibonacci retracement tool to the upside if it continued making a push to the upside. But this is the simple technique. Lay out the price levels based on repeated highs and lows from higher time frames. Look for an intraday chart pattern. Look for the break of that chart pattern. Look for each level to be hit. So in this case, we had the 3210 broken, we hit the 3190, then we came down 3160, then a break of that, simply run your Fibonacci retracement like I've shown you here, or look for other levels. Look for maybe larger moving averages, the 100, the, the 200, the 50, or look for certain daily or weekly pivot levels to be hit. Well, folks, this is Dean Malone with CompassFX. I hope some of the information I've shared with you about making sense of a choppy market will help you in future trades. Y'all go make a great day. Get some good trades. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.